I was hoping you could lay out some of the concrete steps uh, for us uh, of what would need to happen for a new nominee to be selected and how it would all work. Yeah, the Democrats have elected their delegates that actually happened pretty recently, uh, a few weeks ago. And most of them are committed to Joe Biden, the winner of the primary. But the Demo Democratic bylaws do allow them uh, to be released and vote for somebody else. The easiest way for this to work, if, if they were going to replace Biden, would for, be to buy it for, for Biden to say, I am now uh, releasing my delegates to go for somebody else. And there is uh, part of the reason I wrote that story was uh, Heritage Heritage Foundation has had put out a memo and then organized a call saying there would be legal challenges if they try to swap out Biden before the convention. They could try that, but they, none of them really held up. If you look at state laws, they're pretty clear. Um, and I shouldn't say pretty, very clear. They, they say black and white, they say the nominee at the convention they put on the ballot. It, it becomes complicated afterward. Uh, but everything starts with Biden saying, I released my delegates. Right now, they are committed to voting for him. There are super delegates in the Democratic Party who everyone, I think, has heard about by this point. The party rules changed in 2019. Uh, I think the vote was before that, but where if you're like, if I'm the governor, if I'm Gretchen Whitmer, I am a delegate to the Democratic Convention, but I don't get to vote unless there's a second ballot. And right now, if, if every delegate voted for Biden on the first ballot, then boom, he's the nominee. So you just need to, you need Biden to release his delegates. And then uh, the question has been, would there be a competition where at the convention people are, you, you have your hospitality suite, you, you have your uh, lobbying delegate by delegate, you have a war room calling people up and try to get commitments and endorsements. Uh, or would delegates just move en masse to, to Harris, especially if Biden said, I want you to vote for Vice President Harris and pick someone else as a running mate. It's all doable. Uh, I think the, the Democratic worry has been, uh, one of them has been, Oh, but this would be undemocratic because we already had a primary. Yes, that would you'd have to spin your way out of that, uh, and the uh, it would be chaotic. It would be chaotic. The media would cover it uh, in it. I, every reporter, I think, would probably I think do a little bit of whining. But this is a thing that no one has covered in uh, generations. So yeah, it would be it would be covered weird. as a real contest. Them. Yeah, there there'd be no news about Republicans for two weeks that makes it in. It's all it's all doable, but it's not doable if, if Biden says I'm running. I want all the delegates to vote for me. There, okay. um, there's there's no way it, it, yeah. to crowbar him out of there. Um, like I, I don't know. I've heard people talking about this in good conscience clause and things like that. Yeah. But you don't wow. foresee something um, like that happening. Voting for him to crowbarring him. What happens? <laughs> if there was like something that said, if there's a medical diagnosis and he uh, has a degenerative illness or he has X mm -hmm. months to live. Then you get into some of those options. Without that, uh, it is just the nominee, the the person who has the de who has delegates pledged to him in the primaries has those delegates until until the convention. But it would be th those rules are for if if something um, if you have a 1968 situation, somebody wins delegates and then they are assassinated. Uh, then there are rules for that. There's not rules for we don't like the guy, we want to dump him. It needs to be uh, a Thing, something so grievous that they could not run. I mean, something imagining like if, if, a uh, yeah. neurodegenerative brain condition. Yeah, I, I try not to get too much into the the, the speculation because it'd be a little bit gross. But that's one situation. What would happen if the White House says actually we, he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's and he's not going to be very mobile and medically he cannot continue to do this, but he refuses to step down? In that case, then then you get to the DefCon one. Um, he's not competent. Our rules say he's not competent. That would be the actual delegate coup against the president. That's if they have a list of options, that's way down the list of what they want to have to do. Hey, thanks for watching that clip from our show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. And please subscribe to Reason's YouTube channel and the Just Asking Questions podcast feed for notifications when we post new episodes every Thursday.